No, you're not free to go. Put your hands up against the wall. Now, why aren't you answering my questions? Is it a problem for you to, to explain to yourself? I'm not free to go. Open your backpack for me. I do not consent to a search. Look, I don't need to conduct a search, I just need to look inside your backpack. I don't consent to a search. Is that a problem for you? What do you have in the backpack? I don't consent to a search. Am I free to go? Sir, you're acting extremely suspicious here. I need to see what's inside that backpack to make sure that we're okay. I do not consent to a search. Am I free to go? <sighs> yes, you're free to go. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, in this sketch, Caroline is driving. I'm good. Caroline is driving me home from a wicked party. And action. Oh my god, this is so fun. <laughs> that was wicked. Uh, <laughs> oh shoot. No, I can go to jail. I can go to jail. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hello, officer. How are you this evening? Hello. Uh, hey. You know why I pulled you over? Um, you might have been speeding a little bit back there. Yeah, and I think you may be around that stop sign, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Uh, license and registration, please. Right. Here you go. Thank you. So, uh, where are you coming from tonight? Just coming from a party. Yeah. A uh, party, right. Mm -hmm. Uh, was it a good party? Yeah. 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 It wasn't that one uh, four blocks down here that we just busted, yeah. was it? Yeah. What? Um, no. <laughs> the car smells a little funny in here. Oh, we don't um, smoke marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything about marijuana. Um, I'm going to have to ask you two to exit the vehicle. Um, so, uh, look, I'm, I'm going to have to take a look inside your vehicle. Um, are you allowed to do that? Yeah, it's just real quick. Um, it's a routine thing. No problem, right? Um, All right. I... So, uh... <clears throat> What's this? It looks like an open container to me. Um, oh, that's, I'm just can't go to jail. I'm I, I, I mean, I was just driving. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm like fine though. Like, so this is yeah. yours? Um, yeah, yeah, it's mine, but like it's empty. It's okay. All right. Well, you're under arrest for open container, and you're going downtown. <laughs> <laughs> so what did Caroline do wrong in that skit as the driver? Rolled the window all the way down. Yeah, she rolled her window all the way down. Nice. That's the observation. What else? She automatically incriminated herself. She incriminated herself. Good. She allowed him to search the car. Yes, she allowed a search of the car. What about me? What'd she do wrong with respect to me? She did tell you to shut up. Right. The minute you realize you're getting pulled over, tell all your passengers, I'll handle this. Don't say a word, because only the driver needs to be talking. And really, the driver's not supposed to be running their mouth. They're just saying uh, the minimum that they need to get through this drive. So, what, why, do you know why I pulled you over? What are they trying to get out of you? A confession, right, an admission, so that they can use that to write you up. Um, now, when you're driving, you do have to show the cop the papers that make your car legal to drive. You know, here it's your driver's license, your registration, etc. Now, as a passenger, you may be being detained, but you can ask, am I being detained or am I free to go? And you can make your own decision about whether to leave if you want to walk away. Um, that would be your choice. Passengers have the same right as they do anywhere else. Now, if a cop orders you out of the car, like Marlon said, if they order you to do something with your body during a detention, you need to do that. So you do need to step out of the car if they order you out. But one thing that we stress throughout this training is restrict access to your property. Because the more you allow a cop access to your property, the more ability they're going to have to do searches and find stuff or claim they see stuff. So restrict access to your property. One way to do that, roll your window up. Leave a little bit of space, like this much space, to pass papers through and speak through. All the other windows can be up. And if they order you out of the car, get out, but close and lock the door behind you and keep your keys on you. One thing that we saw in this skit was when the cop said, I'm going to need to look in your car. Caroline didn't really loudly and clearly state, I do not consent to a search. She was maybe like, oh, are you sure you're allowed to do that? But that doesn't count as you refusing a search. Say this loud and clear. Another thing about restricting access to your car is a law called the Plain View Law. The Plain View Law says that if the cops can see something from the outside of your car in plain view that they think is illegal, they would be allowed to go in and get that object and use that against you. 
Um, so if you have something that looks like it might be illegal, you want to keep that well out of sight. When you get pulled over sometimes, one cop will come around the car up to the driver's side window, and the other cop is like going around behind, shining the light all in the back windows and through mm -hmm. the passenger seat. What they're doing there is they're looking for something in plain view, like she talked about. That's why that's important. You should keep your hands on the wheel in plain sight, uh, and that's for two reasons. One, you don't want the cop to be able to say, oh, I saw them reaching for a weapon and I had to defend myself um, and do you some kind of violence. And two, you don't want the cop to be able to say, oh, I saw them hurriedly stuffing something in under the seat and then I had to search under the seat, or I saw them trying to hide something. Um, which could give them, you know, further access to your car. So we're going to repeat this skit with, I'm still going to be your passenger, but uh, so one of you all is going to be Caroline. And what is that person going to do differently as the driver? Tell you to shut up. <laughs> Tell me to shut up. Good. What else? Do not consent to the search. Do not consent to the search. Good. What else? Will we partially roll the window down? Roll the window down a little way. Good. And, and how else will you restrict the cop's access to the car? Close and lock the door. Yes. Right, close the door and lock it behind you. Good. All right, do we uh, have a volunteer? All right. Hey, look, I need you to be quiet. I'm going to handle this. Is there a problem, officer? Yeah, I need to see your license and registration, please. I need to reach into my glove compartment and get it. All right. Here you go. Thank you. So, uh, you know why I pulled you over? I ask you what the problem was, sir. I don't know what else. You, uh, you ran that stop sign back there. Uh, so where are you coming from tonight? The friends. Oh, yeah? Um, how about you? Is, is this your friend? Yeah. So where are you, where are you going to? Home. Your, your house or her house? No. <laughs> uh, are, are you all right, Mark? Yes, I'm fine. You seem a little, uh, nervous. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, can both of you get out of the vehicle for me? I notice you uh, closed and locked your door there. Is something wrong? Oh, had it. So, uh, here's the situation. Um, I need to take a look inside your car just really quickly to uh, make I sure that you don't have any like uh, major illegal things going on in there. I do not consent to any searches, sir. Look, it's not going to be a big deal. I just need I, I need to make sure that you don't have like a kilo of cocaine back there, and then I'll send you on your way. I do not consent to any searches, sir. Are are you running drugs through this neighborhood? Is that what's going yeah, on am here? Am I being detained, or am I free to go? Yes, you are being detained. This is a traffic stop. Now listen, I'm not trying to give you any trouble here, but I need to look through your car to make sure you don't have anything you're not supposed to. I do not consent to any searches, sir. Okay, so I need to get the dogs down here. Is that what you're telling me? Because I can get them down here, right? And I can get a judge to sign a warrant to get in your trunk. And if I get the dogs down here, it's going to be my supervisor and the entire squad. All right? They're going to be tearing your car apart. If, I get my, if my supervisor is down here while we're tearing your car apart, I'm not going to be able to cut you a break the way I'm trying to do now. Right? I do not consent to any searches. Am I free to go? You're not free to go. Both of you are back in the car. Stay there. I'll be back. Fifteen minutes later. <laughs> Here's your ticket for running that stop sign. Don't let me see you around here again. I won't do it again, sir. I heard you say I won't do it again, um, oh, which was an admission of guilt. So, ah. so I should say that. Okay. It's tough to stick to this script, but I would stick right to it. Okay. Do you have to say where you're going when she said I'm going home? Probably don't have to, no. So Once again, you no. do not have to answer any no. questions that the police ask you other than to identify yourself, which means your name and your address, possibly your birth date, usually your name and address is good enough. Anything else, where you work, where you're going to, who your friend is, none of that. You don't have to answer anything. Is there you anything shouldn't. you can say when they ask you that? Yes, Regardless of just being I silent. am going to remain silent. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... In this next skit, um, I am throwing a party at my house, and Earthworm here is my guest at the party. So, in here is my house, and right here, this is the front door of the house, and we don't have an actual door, so we're just gonna like mime it, I guess. So, like, here's the door, and out here, this is the porch. 
So, I'm throwing this party. We're getting down. No, 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 no. Oh, well, I'll get it. All right. Oh, it's hey. the cops. Uh, hey. so see what they want. Talk to them or something. Hey, I'm sorry. How you doing? Hi, I got a noise complaint about this party. Do you mind uh, if I... Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, I got a noise complaint about hey, this party. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, um, your friend let me in. Um, okay, are you sure oh. you can just be... Huh, what's this? Um, that's not mine. I don't, I don't even use illegal drugs. Somebody from the party must have just left it here, I think. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that somebody in this party bought this marijuana, but not you. You don't need drugs. Yeah, no, I think somebody probably just left it here. I don't have anything uh -huh. to do with that. Yeah, anything. you're under arrest for possession. But it's not even mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, what went wrong in that sketch? I'm so worried about that. Open the door. Um, who, who opened the house door? To his friend. Yeah, yeah. His, the friend opened the door. Just like, or like people in your car shouldn't talk to the cops. Like people in your house shouldn't be opening the door or talking to cops. Just like in the car, um, the plain view law applies. So if you have a window, you might want to like draw your blinds. Like if a cop, like you know, sneaking around, like looking in your window and sees. Um, something that they think might be like an illegal object, so they can like... Or an illegal activity. Or an illegal activity, they could go in and um, see it. Um, when uh, cops come to your door, you do have the right to not answer the door. If you do answer the door to um, for the cops, like we suggest um, taking a witness out with you. Um, of course, um, not letting the cops in the door. Don't talk to the cops like while you're in the house. You go outside. Again, with the restricting access to your property, shutting your door, locking it, having your witness with you to observe any um, misconduct, to observe you not consenting to searches. You don't have to stay outside unless you're being detained. Like if the cop just like wants to chat you up on your porch, you're allowed to ask, "Am I being detained, or am I free to go?" And if you're not being detained, you're allowed to like go inside and leave the cop on the port, um, your porch all night if that's what they want. Your home is um, very, very, very strongly constitutionally protected. The only way in most situations that cops can get into your home is if A, you let them in, or B, um, they have a warrant. If they, oh, yes? Is that any different for apartments versus a house that you own? No. I, okay. you, they are either getting into your house by you letting them in, like opening the door for them and like inviting them inside, or um, the, if they have a warrant. If they do say they have a warrant, it's a good idea to ask to uh, see the warrant. Um, they might not give it to you right away or at all, but um, it's always good to ask. Make sure that all of the information on the warrant is correct, that it's the correct address, the correct date, the correct time. If not, then that warrant might be invalid. It can never hurt you to not consent to a search. So even if they do have a warrant, even if it looks legit, it's always a good idea to not consent to any search because if problems come up later. They're, if they're determined to come into your house, either legally or illegally, mm -hmm. you do have the right to prevent an illegal entry into your house, right? You do have the right to physically resist. However, if the cops are determined to come in, be that legally or illegally, they're probably getting in, right? You physically resisting is A, probably not going to stop them, and B, probably going to result in injuries and felony charges. That's all we have to say on that topic. If you want to talk to them and find out what they're there for, um, but you don't want to open your door, can you just talk to them through, through the door? Absolutely, you can talk to them through the door. You can try to. They may not hear you. I have a question. I know you said that you don't consent to them going into your house, but if you own the house, then the part of if they're on her doorstep, they're on part of your property. Can you ask them to leave your property? You definitely can. Uh, you may have varying successes of getting them to leave, but you can absolutely tell them you're not welcome here. Please leave my property. So we're going to redo the skit with someone as the resident, and what's that person going to do differently? 